right. How are we doing? The last bag. All plain paper. <laughs> Very clever. You know, I wonder how security would feel if they knew they were guarding waste paper instead of ten million dollars. <laughs> well, seems to be it. single shipment of dollars ever made at six in the morning. Mm -hmm. If you'll sign here, Inspector. Mm. Right. I've never seen such precautions just to reach the port. The whole underworld worries me less than a single man. Diabolic? Excuse me. They're waiting for you, Inspector. Good luck. Ah. <laughs> That makes it exactly ten million dollars. All right, you can take that away. Yeah. Too. They are meant to be diplomats. Uh, they're our best men. <sighs> You're a diplomat. Looks sophisticated. You're a man of the world. Polished, witty, oh. bored. What's that? Here, put it in your hat. In these. Right. Let's go. What's going on? 
Inspector, what happened? I don't know. <coughs> For God's sake, get back to the Rolls Royce. Take your part. I was just sorry, Inspector. Idiots. <coughs> Where's the Rolls? It disappeared. What are you talking about? We turned round, Inspector. <coughs> And it was gone, just like that. Inspector, look! One to Coast Patrol, helicopter one to Coast Patrol. Attention! Attention! Jaguar spotted, turned off main highway, heading for Coast District. Okay, Roger, let's go.
You either. Yes, sir. What am I going to say to the Prime Minister? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. I am going to have to come up with some brilliant idea. Otherwise, he's going to find a new minister of the interior. And the next man may not have the same understanding of police methods as I have. Can you grasp that? No, sir. Preposterous to think that one man can make a fool of the entire police force. But a laughing stock in the world press and our own newspapers are screaming for action. And that is precisely what I intend giving them. Vigorous, clear-sighted action. Now, firstly, it is obvious to the logical and well-trained mind that the first thing that Diabolic is going to do is to get those dollars out of the country. Logical suggestion, sir. Mm. Anchor. But I'm afraid quite useless. What? Diabolic will handle the ten million dollars, but in some quite different way. What quite some different way? A way no mind but his could imagine. Ladies and gentlemen, and especially the ladies and gentlemen of the press who are with me here in this television studio, this conference has been arranged with the express purpose of enabling me to pass on to you some extremely heartening news. Your government, ever vigilant, determined to stamp out, to crush the current crime wave, has restored the death penalty. <laughs> As a temporary measure, of course. Faced with this extreme form of punishment, the socially sick elements of our society, by that I mean criminals. Are you referring to diabolic? Diabolic. I assure you that this individual, whose very name reveals his antagonism to the established values of our society, will soon be brought to justice. This criminal paranoid seems to have dedicated himself to a one-man fight against our society. This black mark this manifestation of exaggerated delinquency has exceeded the boundaries of rational behavior within and without the legal structure that is the very basis of our freedom and way of life. <clears throat> he also seems to derive a great deal of pleasure from me, making fun of our entire police force. 
He is certainly not going to make a fool of me. You want to resign? I want to resign. The minister yes. wanted to resign. They accepted the minister's resignation. But they won't take mine. And I'm not going to take yours. But, Chief, remember that. But if it's any sort of a consolation to you, I've managed to get you the special powers you wanted. But... How these special powers are going to help you get your hands on Diabolic, I just don't know. They might, indirectly. All right. If you've got a plan, go ahead. And with every blessing. But this time, remember, we want results. nightclubs. We have it surrounded.
that we allow all this fire to move away where it was cut from. They've been inside for hours. Such a waste of us. If you are not behind us, Valmont, we'll withdraw from the syndicate. I'm sorry to hear you say that, Frank. Dead sorry. What flowers would you like me to order? Hmm? No, no, really. <laughs> what flowers? Frank, you boys, you don't know where to put your heads down. We must wait for now. We're outside the three mile limit, luckily. And who's that? Must be stuck. Now the stuff is gone, boss. When? Last night. You say all the narcotics. Hmm. You see, Stott, you brought bad news. Cut it out! That's enough, Jinko. Get lost. Jinko, yes? This is Valmont. Valmont? How surprising to hear from you. I'm calling you, Inspector, on behalf of law and order. Good. I would like us to make a little bargain, Inspector. Really now, bargain with the police? I've got a good job. Since when do I make bargains with your kind? For once, we've got special powers. Diabolic will manage to lose your job. You can always apply to me. You'll find yourself better off. You'll be more warmly dressed and... and you will... less. I would be more concerned for your comfort than mine, Valmont. When we catch you, you won't get off with a 30-year sentence. Not anymore. You and your entourage will go to prison for only three weeks. But at the end of the three weeks, you'll hang by your necks. A discomfort I wish to avoid. I'll get you Diabolic alive and you can arrest him. You interest me, Valmont. Perhaps we can do business after all. There's an old saying. You should know about it. It takes a thief to catch a thief. <laughs> We've just concluded an executive meeting of the syndicate. We've taken a democratic vote. Five in favor of my plan, and three against it. I changed my vote! Don't shoot! Please! Please! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Since you said please, I won't shoot. Goodbye, friend. Oh, Ralph. Nice. Fresh air. It's grand. <laughs> So, with 
his new emergency powers. Jinko's really putting the heat on us. If we don't play ball with him, we'll wind up behind bars. So we play ball, but how? Catch Diabolic Forum. We got the know-how that the cops don't. No one has ever laid eyes on Diabolic or his girl and stayed alive. So what? We got connections. We all know squealers. If all of us work together on this, tough luck, Diabolic. Excuse me, dear. I'm expecting something. What? Watch. The Foreign Office today confirmed the upcoming official visit of the British Finance Minister, Sir Harold Clark. Sir Harold and his charming wife, Lady Clark, will arrive here on Thursday, May the 5th. May 5th? Isn't the 6th your birthday? What would you like me to give you? There must be something you haven't got. A reception is planned in their honor in the historic St. Just Castle. Lady Clark will wear the famous Aksan necklace, which is comprised of 11 emeralds, the most perfect in the world. Those emeralds. Get in, honey. You're going very far. Far as you want. You got the time, baby? Depends, handsome. So far, I've turned down all offers. Why? What's your price? An emerald necklace. <laughs> you look worth it. Hop in. Well? Lady Clark's room is... Uh, is the highest window, the one that slid up. And? I saw a truck delivering some television equipment. Closed circuit TV. Many police? About 50 outside. And 30 inside dressed as waiters. Hmm. And Jinko's the chef. I didn't see Jinko. If you didn't see him, he's there. Anyone notice you? Well, one of the girls on the sidewalk asked me a few questions. She thought I was trying to move in on her feet. <laughs> a redhead. You can't fool me. She was no pro. I got suspicious right away. It was obvious. I could see at first glance that she was just putting it on. Remember what she looks like? Sure I do. Who could forget what she looked like? The way she was decked out in red, she looked like a cardinal. <laughs> and she had good legs, though. Joe, call Tony. I figured Diabolic would make a play for those emeralds. Who wouldn't? They're beautiful. Dry up, stupid. <laughs> This might be our big chance. If you're right, I'll take good care of you. Want me to describe her? Eh? Not to me. To Tony. Tell him. Look at that. There's a funny-looking thing. What is it? I'm 
talking to you. What is it? You'll see. Don't touch it. Shape of face. Huh? Like this? No, that's too round. Longer. Right, let's go on. Her eyes. Ah, oh, that's her. Looks like real. That's her. Thanks. That's all for now. Uh, Joe. Sure. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Tell that Vernier to come in. I want to check him out on this. Take a seat, Doctor. Try to help us. We're looking for someone who's of great importance to us. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down! I may have a patient who might be the woman you are looking for, but as you know, I operate undercover. My patients don't like indiscreet questions, and so I might not know her name, nor who she is. If it's the same woman, then it's Diabolic's girl. <laughs> Dr. Vernier, we want to contact Diabolic for a job that ought to be interesting, both to him and us. Look. Look here. Come on, come on, come on. You know her? Hmm? I'm sorry, I can't help you. Listen, Vernier. San Francisco dropped you out of the medical register. But if you're lying, I'll drop you out of the human register. Now get out. Joe. You dumbhead. You scared him. He changed his tune the minute he heard the name Diabolic. Get 5,000 copies of this printed and circulate them. She will not get away. Thank you so much for inviting me. Good night. 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 Oh, yes, it was lovely. Boy, lad, that's all. I hope it's not. Why do you think I gave the necklace all that publicity? You'll never be able to resist those emeralds. Now we'll sit back and wait to spring the trap. Sir Harold, if you don't mind, I'd like to check your room again. Oh, please do. 
How romantic. It makes me think I'm living in the old days of Robin Hood. When I return to London, I will have such exciting things to tell to my friends. You will indeed. No danger on this side. Slippery wall straight down. A fly couldn't climb it. Uh, Lady Clark, may I ask you to leave your necklace on this table all night? Part of our security arrangements. Of course, Inspector. Anything you want. Now I wish you both a good night. Good uh, night. Good night to you. Come, Harold. Young, though. I know. Oh, they're such marvelously attractive men. I did look well, didn't I, dear? Yes, you did. It was a nice evening, after all. That inspector was sweet. He never took his eyes off my decollete once the entire evening. It was your necklace, my dear. Don't be crude. Soldiers again. Toy soldiers, that's all you think about. Oh, here's my general under the bed. It's much too late. Do put them away. You'll play with them in the morning. Oh! My necklace! Oh, oh my beautiful necklace. 
I know I did. Let's go and see. We've been had again. We must get word to all patrols. If he's escaping by car, they'll stop him at the roadblocks. Calling patrols 9 and 10. Repeat, patrols 9 and 10. Keep watch on the north coast. Over. We can't make the hideout by land. Patrol 11. Patrol 11 to inspector. Black Jaguar in sight and now under observation. Vehicle now caught between this unit and unit 13. Don't worry. Double back. We've done it again. <gasps> you are hurt. Have Doc Renier look at that tomorrow. One more thing, ma'am. Fill it up, please. Uh huh? Tiger's in the tank, ma'am. Keep the change. Thanks. Would you like a tail for good luck? Oh, no, thank you. I'm not superstitious. Here. 
fish a banana. Pink. Hey, boss, you shouldn't call me names. <laughs> Hello? Yes. Hey. hey, Ralph. Phone. Hey, don't pay any attention to him. Ralph. A man. Who is it? It's Rudy. The girl you're after is at Verlier's. Go right it out of your sight. Are you sure no one followed you here? Why do you ask? Listen to me. Don't come here again, ever. What are you trying to tell me? You came here for medical advice. I'm telling you this for your health and mine. Nurse? Yes, doctor? Take her along to the infrared room. Now, just relax. I'm going to give you the infrared treatment. Excuse me. The fuse must have blown. your name off the human register? Liar! Oh. It's no good, Belmont. He should have called by now. Relax. We've got him in a box. He's too far gone on a girl. Is she very beautiful? Yeah. Oh. And too smart to ask stupid questions. Mm. Hold it. Now. Enterprise 1246. I saw your ad regarding White Jaguar. What's your price? Ten million dollars. Plus an emerald necklace. Right. And don't try to pull any funny stuff. Eh? I've got a couple of experts at dealing with women here. You might not find it easy to recognize her afterwards. I accept your conditions. That's what I like to hear. Yes. Meet me at Sibby's. At the break-in airport. Get me Inspector Jingo. Money. Check it. 
all seems to be here. The necklace? When I've got Eva back. No necklace. No Eva. That's the deal. Is that the only deal you've got going today, Valmont? I don't have to talk. I could kill you instead. Go ahead. All you've got to do is push that button. Valmont, this is most unprofessional. We're approaching designated area, sir. Circle the target. Right. That's where Eva is. Ever jumped before? Don't burst the necklace. Hold it. I'll take it. Now. It's a trap. Valmont's made a deal with Jinko. Are you all right? Damn you, Jinko. Back in the cabin. I'll draw their fire. If they get me, you know what to do. But. Run, or they get us both. Inspector, we've got him this time. He's surrounded.
I got you, Diabolic. Come on out. Belmont, don't play the hero. So this is the famous Diabolic. Yes, Doctor. Get him ready. Yes, sir. He's He's ready. Ready. Oh, oh. Oh. Is he really dead, Inspector? Yes. Poison? Dr. Farrar is performing the autopsy. Yes, not the emeralds. Do you think he swallowed them? No, his body is being x-rayed. Nurse, give me the beta-3. We'll ascertain the state of necrosis. You don't look very excited, Inspector. In a strange way, I'm sorry. Sorry, Inspector? As though he'd become part of my life. I can't believe he's really dead. We'll begin with a circular incision. Scalpel. John, Doctor, the Tibetan Lamas have used it for 3,000 years. It brings on a state of suspended animation for 12 hours. But if you're not given the antidote, the apparent death becomes real. How long's it been, Eva? Eleven hours and 57 minutes. I thought it would be too late. Oh, uh, nurse, uh, what can you tell us? The doctor will be available in ten minutes for interviews. Can't you tell us something now? I'm sorry. All I can tell you is that it will be uh, sensational. 
What? Diabolic got away? Got away? But that's impossible. It must be a joke. He's dead. We all saw him dead. And what about this? His death certificate. It's no joke. You saw him dead. The coroner saw him dead. The coroner certified his death. Sergeant, this is our friend Valmont's certificate. Cause of death, 11 machine gun shots, 11 emeralds, 11 bullets. To the morgue. Valmont, yes, it's all in order. If you'll just sign here, 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 and here. Four times. Four times, yes. He was basically a good boy. Always sent money to Mama. <coughs> there, there. Buck up. He'll soon be home at last. He's in peace now. Let's see whether he's ready yet. Please. Ah, yes, he's ready. Every time uh, I reflect on man's insignificance, <laughs> I say. Excuse me, where is the doctor, please? in shock. With this new plan of action, everyone will collaborate. Even his mother will turn him in. No, sir. What do you mean, no, sir? I don't believe he has a mother, sir. Hmm. Oh, well. In any case, I'll have no negative thinking in my police force. Sorry, sir. It's a habit. The former minister always insisted that we... Uh, my predecessor's policies don't interest me. I am minister now, and I want this man caught! 
there is my policy. Yes, sir. All you can say is yes, sir. With this reward, the whole country will be out to catch him. What if... There are no ifs. A million dollars wipes out ifs. The reward has turned public opinion against him. Yes? Well, what is it? Message for you, sir. It was just delivered by hand. Thank you. Excuse me. I won't tolerate pessimism, Inspector. And... Unheard of. In view of the bad use to which the government has put the public money, I shall take steps to remove it from circulation. Signed. Diabolic. It's a joke. And we'll call his blood! Ladies and gentlemen, our Minister of Finance. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first opportunity that I have had of talking to you on the television as your new Minister of Finance. I shall speak frankly. I shall not conceal from you the gravity of the recent blows to our tax system, upon which, of course, the well-being of our entire society is based. Not only have many millions worth of tax receipts in currency and checks gone up in flames, but far more tragically, the tax information files of virtually every taxpayer in this nation <clears throat> have been destroyed in this appalling emergency. I have taken, upon, taken it upon myself to appeal to the civic pride of each and every one of you, whether you are watching this program or not. Let each come forward voluntarily to pay the tax he thinks he owes. What is this, the comedy hour? I know that I shall not have appealed to you in vain. I feel it. It is not a matter of only civic pride, but it is a matter of national pride. I am perfectly certain that you will not cold shoulder me. You will not turn your back on me, because it would not be a matter of turning your back on me, but on your very country. <laughs> We followed your instructions to the letter. Twenty tons of gold melted into one big ingot. Nobody in the world could possibly steal it, considering the weight. <sighs> You'd have to sweat for two days to open that. Of course, our gold reserves certainly have uh, dwindled recently. Only since everyone stopped paying taxes. We have to sell the gold to get hard currency. Form the convoy. Operation Gold Van. Operation Gold Van. This is Inspector Jinko speaking. Can you read me? Over. I hear you loud and clear. Over. We're underway. I shall be calling you at ten minute intervals. Over and out. Stay alert. Danik. Yes, sir? You go on up. Yes, sir.
Attention. Attention. Operation Goldland. All patrols along specified route. Train is underway. Red flash alert. Report all suspicious movements in vicinity of designated areas. Arrest all persons loitering near tracks, as per special instructions. Search all cars attempting to approach security points. Do you read me? Over. Right, Inspector. Orders received at Patrol 8. Can I help you? Oh, thanks. I could use a lift. Uh, sure, get right in. I ran out of gas. Oh, I'm so tired. If you could just uh, drop me at the motel, eh? Uh, I'll worry uh, about the car in the morning. Oh, oh, my suitcase. I'll get it. <laughs> Happy to get it. Oh, you're so nice, but do be careful. It's heavy. Uh, always try to help a lady. In distress. Inspector. Jinko here. Jinko here. What's happened? What's the matter? What's going on here? I don't understand. The light seems to flicker, but it's barely moving. Hey, look at that. They're turning back. Something's happened. Call them. Call them again. Headquarters calling Operation Goldven. Headquarters to Operation Goldven. Jinko here. I receive you. What's happened? What's happening? There's a wrecked truck blocking the line. Our men sighted Black Jaguar. Suspect Diabolic in vicinity. He probably mined the entrance to the tunnel. However, I think we're out of danger now. We're backing out before... Just as I thought. The tunnel's been blocked by two explosions. We're in the clear. Danik's pursuing. The train will have to be rerouted. Wait. Three miles back, there's the Arville marshalling yard. From there, take the unused line that crosses the bay in the Lawrence Bridge.
Something's happened. Headquarters calling Operation Goldven. Headquarters to Operation Goldven. Well? Nothing, Inspector. The gold's not there. We search everywhere. Why, what do you mean it's not there? It weighs 20 tons. Laser gun can melt anything. Except you, honey. 
nice that gold melts at a lower temperature than steel. It's the only way we can get it. Jinko here. Inspector. We allowed you to take all those extravagant measures so that the gold would reach its destination without fail. And now, what do I hear? What am I to report to the minister? What is he to tell to Parliament? That we're a bunch of helpless jackasses! Don't exaggerate. Exaggerate? Don't be funny! Well, Professor? Yes, there are spots. Good, there are traces. Yes, of what? Radioactivity. As a precaution, I had part of the container holding the gold radioactivated. Then there's a chance of recovering it. More than that. If Diabolic has taken the gold to his hideout, there's a chance of recovering everything. Don't come near, honey. Molten gold wouldn't suit your skin. You be careful. Don't worry. With this suit, I could swim through the center of the sun.
Barbaric displaying the body of a fallen enemy. The minister. Besides, it's good publicity. Order this place to be cleared. Yes, sir. Everybody out, please. All right, gentlemen, this way. Everybody out. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist seeing him. Please. Give me a few seconds more. Hello. You don't know how grateful I am. Oh, my God. 